Hi everybody, welcome back to Tampatix. Today we are doing our thing after a long time, uh, the time they're going to call you and other messages. I feel there's a restlessness then in them, you know, they kind of, some of, for some of you they said, do not call me, I do not want to talk to you or they did uh, get into a fight and uh, now they're regretting it. I feel they're very restless, um, uh, they don't know how to start the conversation and that's one of the messages I got and uh, let's see, like, let's jump right into the reading because you would be anxious for messages and the rest of things, well, I'll say later. I got two pens. I don't know why I was seeing in fact black and uh, black could be, uh, you know, it could bring you luck. Normally I do not, uh, you know, uh, I do not use black for communication, but I don't know why I'm getting that. You could be wearing black or you've been, uh, you've been writing with a black pen, something to do with black. You could be wearing black also. A black color I don't know you could be wearing black nail polish like me and uh, n no matter how many times I took out a color to write black came out and so did purple also so I got maybe there's a silver lining in the cloud things are going to be better there's going to be a ray of hope and uh, there'll be some kind of a hint they will try to talk to you I think somewhere they are worrying about how to approach you and that's that's going to trouble them definitely so let's start with the timings when they're going to call you or when you can receive a call or a message. Remember, this is a general reading, uh, might or might not resonate. So uh, around this, around uh, about this time, they'll call you is 9.45 p.m. at night, 10.18 p.m., 12.20 p.m. So you can get the call anytime within a day, within a few hours or, uh, you know, whatever time zone you are in, I don't know. Or it could just take a day or two days, but definitely this is the kind of timing that I'm getting. And I get a very, very restless energy. They do not know how to start it. I think they do not know how to approach you right now. That's the main message. But they really are dying to talk to you. So that's what I'm going to use because I've been getting getting the uh, whole uh, thing that they know they made a mistake and they know that probably they had blocked you now. I mean, they feel that they'll feel foolish, you know, if they unblocked you and said, hey, I want to, you know, talk to you again. Or probably they said, do not call me. Or probably they picked up a fight and they said, okay, let's not see each other. And they are... Um, going crazy without you okay that's the another message that I get you really really emotionally connected to each other we'll also do the signs we'll do a lot of messages 11 30 a.m in the morning 9 30 a.m in the morning I get one it's 1 15 p.m in the afternoon those are the times that I get see anxiety is building up to call they are uh Thinking, thinking of a story of a narrative how to get in touch with you how to when to call you they're, they're they're you know practicing in their head like what to do how to call you how to call you what to say or you know what's uh, how will they start the conversation definitely because they can't just I mean if they blocked you or they said do not talk to me they can't just you know reach out and say hey you know um, they don't know how to be normal right now uh, what do I uh, Okay, the other message that I get is they are saying, what do I say? How do I start the conversation? See, exactly what I was saying. They don't know how to start the conversation. They're trying to have a conversation with you, but they do not know how to start it. They're going to give some clarification. Justification is coming for some of you. I feel there is, you want a clarity from them. You probably had asked them a question and you wanted an answer to it, but definitely you did not get an answer, but you are wanting to get clarity, um, clarity from that. Okay, that's what I feel. I pushed you away. Now I don't know what to do. So I think similar messages that I'm getting today is collective is almost around that, that they're anxious. Uh, they know they pushed you away. They're like, now, how do I reach out to them? Uh, will they actually uh, take my phone? Will they actually talk to me? I think another worry is, uh, you know, will they actually respond? Will you actually respond when they uh, reach out to you? See, I get one message to start the talk. So it's not going to be probably a phone call straight away. Maybe they'll send a cute message. Maybe they'll send kind of a reminder. Maybe they'll try to talk about something else. If you've not been blocked or, you know, you if they've been hot and cold and, you know, they said do not talk to me. So they are going to start it in a way, uh, probably talk about something else and then, you know, get on to the topic. Hear me out. They're going to, they want to justify something. They want to clarify something because I think you were upset about something and you did not get the right answer. You were not really happy with the answers you got. And uh, they also know that they did not give you probably the right answer. Maybe for some of you, they did lie and you did catch a lie. I mean, you caught it and you said, Hey, I mean, you lied to me. I also get the message. I'm home. I definitely miss. I definitely miss. I'm going to say definitely miss. That's a slip of tongue. So I am going to take that. They definitely miss you. They definitely uh, think of you as home somewhere. They feel comfortable with someone who they feel comfortable. Uh, they have a good talk. They laugh. Uh, they laugh with you. They have a great chat. They have a good vibe with you. There's a good connection with you. So they really feel like home. And the word miss you slipped out. So they're definitely missing you. I think the more the gap is that you're not talking to each other, the more anxious it's getting. I mean, making them feel that, um, you know, are you still there or not? 
I don't know why, but I feel this is your words. You're going to say, hey, I'm lucky I got the call. Maybe you did manifest. Or maybe this time you did not do the call me spell or did not manifest at all. You were like, okay, if they belong in my life, if they think uh, I should be there in their life, they're going to call on my own. I'm not going to work hard on these <laughs> spells or manifestations or whatever you do. I, I, I don't know. But definitely, like, I'm leaving it to the universe. If we are meant to be together, they'll, they'll call or they'll message or they come back to me. I think you're testing the universe. <laughs> That's what I feel. They're feeling stressed. Definitely, they are stressed. I don't know why I get it the moment. I mean, and uh, somewhere in uh, during this video, you should be getting that call or you should be getting that message. I almost feel like, like it's going to make you jump out of your chair. You're going to be so, so happy and I'll feel so nice. I mean, even if one of you just, you know, updates me on this in this comment section and, and you say that, you know, while you were talking, I did get a call. You know, I, I would feel wonderful. And I just saw 555 five, five on the counter. And I really hope that transformation in them comes, that change in them comes, change of heart probably, and uh, they start a conversation with you. I also feel wheels in my mind. I see that it's like wheels turning, but forward movement. So this relationship is meant to go forward. This relationship, if they've not been uh, showing you any uh, movement in this relationship, in the sense it's just been lying, uh, like like there's there's you know no progress. I really feel it's going to be movement. You know, good positive movement. What did I write? Okay, call message you in the next minute. So they're probably going to say call you, or I'm going to message you in the next ten minutes, or. That call, whenever you're listening to this video, that call will come in the next 10 minutes. In fact, when they call you, they want to talk to you as if nothing happens. And I wrote, wrote can you hear the phone ring? I almost could hear the phone ring in my mind while I was reading, uh, writing this. And I was like, for some of you, it's going to just happen. You know, a lot of times it happens that time. And because you are thinking, um, you know, you're thinking positive, you're happy, uh, you're feeling that, yes, they are calling, you're imagining it, you're living in that reality. I think the most important thing is just living in the reality, living in the in 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 the whole scenario in your head that, yes, they've called, you know, and feeling it. I think the whole feeling, the whole emotions that, yes, I've got a call is the most important, okay? Let's see what are the other messages. I've taken a lot of messages out, so we will go. We will see them one by one. We've got don't let uh, your past hold you back. So I feel here it is about any fight that you have. Please do not let it hold uh, come in between your relationship with the person. Okay, please uh, forget that. Do not have to keep thinking about the fight. So don't let your past hold you back. Uh, 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 see, uh, you could be a fire sign. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Not necessarily. This is a jet reading. But I feel it's going to be, uh, a, you know, it's like... Um, a little fight coming up also so one fight should not turn into one so that's why i said uh keep calm they do not know how to approach you they're a little worried that if they kind of call you or try to talk to you uh, you are going to uh you know uh, not react properly okay have faith in your dreams so this is for you have faith in your dreams if you really think that, like i said you know if you really uh, left it on god or uh, the universe and you know you testing the universe that you've done enough and if they they want you to together they will put you and uh, the person together a time of healing, I think, a time, sorry, a time for healing. So either they need to heal, you need to heal, or probably this is a good time to heal. And look look at this, purple is matching purple. Maybe purple is also good color. Maybe you wearing purple. We also took that pen, almost like purple. You and your loved ones are safe. So if you're worrying about them, haven't heard from them, they're also somewhere worrying about you. I think the feeling is mutual. You could be dealing with a water sign, especially, or you could be a water sign. So definitely if you're worried that, uh, you know, I, 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 they're also worried that are you doing okay, you know, because maybe you both are not in contact and you're the kinds who speak to each other every day. You ask each other how are you and you each other's strength and probably they miss that and you missing them. Remember when uh, there was a slip of tongue, the miss word came up. Clean it up, whatever you have, clean up the mess between you two. Do not make it messier. I think it's time to sort it out. Milk and honey is beautiful days ahead. Good things going to happen. And I, six days, another six days, it could be six hours also. I saw this uh, card, I was keeping it back, but I was like, no, because I saw it in the pile, I it needs to, uh, you know, be in this uh, reading. It says a loyal heart, they, heart they, they are loyal towards you, okay, guys, if this was in your mind, and they also know that you are loyal to them, so you do not have to worry about the loyalty bit. Look at this, the fates. I told you this is something divine timing. Probably this is the time you have to meet. This These are the days that you have to meet. Uh, they're going to, uh, you know, universe is going to uh, put you together. Probably you are, I'm telling you, testing the universe. And the universe is like, yes, the person has done enough and uh, they deserve their love. Uh, they deserve, the, uh, you know, their loved one to be back. 
come to the edge one of you has to come towards the other one you have to take the risk risk in the sense is like you have to probably make more effort or if it's the other one who has to make more effort definitely you have to make more effort more effort than usual you have to get out of your comfort zone you have to get out of your routine and speak to them maybe uh, yeah call them if you normally don't call them if you normally don't go towards them this time probably you can try this is observer so they are watching you are you watching them following each other probably they're watching you more and i'm gonna have my tea it's very cold out here guys and i'm not fond of winter at all this is a new life this is breathing new life in an old relationship or in a relationship this is uh, happiness all the way so whenever you both are together uh, please uh, remember that do not talk about the past I mean just to fight you can sort things out like I always say but not um, rake up things you know just let them go and look at this nine yeah number three it could be important for you so this is new life almost breathing new life this is also purple you know you can wear purple purple will make you feel good you can use purple in manifestations if you want you can burn a purple candle Co-create, you could be working together, you could be creating something together, uh, you, could, you could be business partners, you could be creating anything, I mean, you could be in business or, you know, at work also, probably it's a, a boss employee, something like that, you know, I feel one one is a little higher in designation, the other could be different, but I feel there is some kind of a, you know, relationship, probably it's, you work together also, so you've been doing the work of building blocks, this relationship is strong, it's just that needs to be stronger with you two understanding each other. Imagine I told you universe is at work. So imagine whatever you imagine will happen. So manifest, manifest, manifest if you want to. Just imagine. Imagine card also says just live in the in the feeling that whatever you want is has happened. You know, if you're waiting for a call, just imagine yourself talking to the person, feeling very happy. So put all your emotions in. Oh wow, we've got new life cards in two uh, ways. You've got regeneration. Look at this. I mean, it's almost like you thought your relationship was dead. They thought their relationship is dead with you and uh, the moment you know you thought no nothing can be done or none of you were making a move suddenly you know there is new life and life was breathed into the relationship look at this we've got new life here we've got regeneration here and we've got mending wow this is this is mending this is this relationship has to be mended it it, it cannot you know it's not a relationship it will be over you will mend it okay that's another message that i get Let's keep them away. Let's make way for new cards. Guys, you have to mend this relationship. I mean, whatever you guys do, whatever you think, it is repairable for some of you. They're really getting anxious. Now Now they're thinking the next move. They thought probably, yeah, probably you'll come running after them. No, it's not over. Yeah, you'll respond. You'll beg them to take you back. But now they're also wondering because you've been silent. Let's see what are the other messages for you guys. Chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. See, you've got regeneration. It could also be new love. Remember, we had also get uh, let go of the past. So it could be let go of the past. I mean, uh, new love is entering. For a lot of you, there's new love on the horizon. Wow, that's awesome. It doesn't mean that you haven't seen each other. New love could be just began, you know, a month ago, a week ago. Very, very fresh, very, very new. You know, that's what I feel. Okay, let's get on with the other messages. Crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. I told you, co-create. You guys work together. You're going to work together. You're going to expand your business. You're going to start something new. Or you guys just started started something new. Could be a birth of a, someone in a new fa in your family. Enterprise, definitely. I told you with co-create, it did does make sense. We have co-create here, no? Starting a business, starting something together. Look at this partnership. Apple, temptation will test you. So it could be somebody new, probably you are attracted to words. It could be somebody at work or it could be otherwise somebody you know. 
no off so there's some kind of a temptation so be careful don't get into the third party situation but you could be tempted to uh, talk to someone i mean somebody it's really really attractive and you really can't keep your eyes off the person grasshopper situations in the balance uh, sorry situations in the balance that require careful handling okay so balance situations refi- require careful handling like i told you they if they come towards you do not fight or you very carefully balance things out very carefully ask them things you know very carefully without you know taking that risk of actually the whole thing turning into a fight when they are reaching out so just balance it out don't need to fight let's see what are the other messages i mean the whole situation is very delicate is what i saw i mean the matter that you're dealing with is very delicate so it also requires some kind of you know um ha- like gentle handling from your side or probably it's it's for them that they know that they have to handle you very gently you know otherwise if they push you you're not going to listen you do not like that wedge someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want see temptations somebody else is coming between you guys it's a delicate situation somebody's making their way you know you feel in your uh, friendship or your relationship and uh, or probably you it could be a new love you wanted to approach someone and some other friend did approach the person and you did not feel happy so just a caution here for people who are looking for new love or if it's just new love somebody else is also probably after the person you are with that's another message that i get sunrise new creative ideas new ventures a fresh start see everything sits well sunrise new new day new beginnings new a uh, you know newness in the relationship we got regeneration we got new life actually it's it's all you know coming together and always you know when i'm doing the collective and the cards i mean i kind of just know that this has to be the reading for today and i'm taking these cards out you know in front of you and you know that it's all new beginnings new ventures you've got co create right here see again and again you you're going to be in this relationship you're building blocks of this relationship uh, guys they really want to reach out to you is what i get i don't know how will they approach you but they want to reach out to you stuff you will be taken care of in difficult times wow you will be taken care of if you are worrying about your financial situations or otherwise about challenges you will be taken care of i really feel uh, you know whoever's listening to this is really divinely protected you have your uh, spirit guides you also know know the names of your spirit guides and you believe in spirit guides ram a stubborn aggressive person you could be dealing with somebody who's really stubborn and aggressive okay that's that's there and uh, they always ready to fight like it's like they're waiting you know to fight i don't know why but one more from here there has to be one more card torch spiritual development enlightenment awareness and understanding what did i say to you guys that this is divinely protected group whoever is listening to this is so blessed you guys have probably psychic abilities you have you have the ability to see um, you know read others minds or read others you have this spiritual gift and you are trying to develop maybe you've just raised your vibrations maybe this if you're very very new maybe that's why you got attracted to my reading there's enlightenment like enlightenment there's awareness and there is understanding of another world of of different realms of uh, different things in life i mean uh, there's a world beyond this world like i said you are guided by your spirit guides and i really feel what a beautiful reading guys i mean i've never i mean i've had beautiful readings but this re- re- reading was really really uh, it's got the vibes it's got got the positivity and i already feel uh, we are, we are blessed by all the angels and our spirit guides let's see what are the other messages I don't know I'm like I always say I knew I, the card will come out why because there are wings there and this is judgment day if you wanted clarity from them the clarity will be coming guys I told you clarity is will be coming don't have to worry about it I knew it I mean I knew this card will come out you'll get I mean there'll be there'll be judgment guys there'll be there'll be judgment coming your way there is judgment coming your way I was like almost the universe is listening to you and it's going to announce what's there for you you know you're going to hear it loud the signs are going to be loud and clear for you 
I mean, you'll see them coming towards you. It'll be very, very clear to you. You wanted clarity, you know, that's another thing that we, thing that we, look at this, guys. You've got the card. You've got the star card. The universe is with you. Guys, what a beautiful reading, guys. If you're really, really seeing this reading, I think, guys, you will always get what you wanted for. There's emotional balance. There is a practicality. There is the universe working for you. There are stars. I mean, oh my, this is really great. I don't know what to say. Let's see the zodiac. This could be your zodiac or their zodiac. And if their zodiac is not there or your zodiac is not there, it doesn't matter. If the reading or any of the messages resonate, it's fine. But guys, I mean, this is the, there is no other beautiful reading than this. You guys have seen it. I mean, I always know what the collective is going towards, you know, when I do the cards. Or, you know, when I'm writing, I know it is, it is going to be this. Let's go to take eight. I'm going to take eight. Cancer, and I was going to say cancer, and new cancer will come out. I knew it, guys. We've got Sag. We've got Aries. We've been getting a lot of fire signs. We've got Scorpio. We've got two water, two fire. We've got four more to go. Let's see who all are appearing. We've got Pisces. So we've got all water signs. A lot of emotions. I mean, maybe their emotions are just going to flow. We go on to three, four, five, three more. We've got Libra. Balance again. Things are going to balance out. Two more. Gemini. I'm not going to say, but a kind of new Gemini is going to come out. Let's see the last one. Okay, this fell out of my hand, so it has to be here, Leo. So there are a lot of fire signs. I mean, Earth, we didn't see Earth here today. But definitely doesn't matter if th th these messages are resonating. It's fine not to worry at all. I just saw 2202, so that could be another uh, angel number you could be seeing because I just saw that. We saw 555 on the counter when I just, uh, I was talking. So thank you so much. This is such a beautiful reading. And guys, they're getting restless to get in touch with you. There is uh, a relationship an old relationship is going to, uh, you know, go through regeneration. And I think there's a new relationship. There are a lot of new things happening. And the best part is the universe has your back, like I always say. But this time, the universe is actually putting things together for you. I mean, you've done your work. I think you've been doing your manifestations. And this is a very spiritually guided reading, guys. The spirit guides are there because you saw what all, you know, the moment I said you guys are guided by your spirit guides, we had the torch card, the right card, you know, to say that, to confirm that, yes, spirit guides are around us around me and around you guiding you see look at this star card how beautiful you've got judgment you've got clarity and <laughs> thank you for listening to me and do like my channel do hit the subscribe button please comment also i read all the comments like i always say and i'll be back with another reading pretty soon thank you guys take care bye